Hello, it's Stuart, the Unrepented Atheist. Thanks for tuning in. So I've been uh, looking at some more old episodes of the Atheist Experience and uh, found quite a good Jeff D response here to a question from a Christian. So let's get going and have a listen to it. Uh, answer this question for me, if you will, and I'm not being facetious. In a near-death experience or an experience that is out of your control and you're confronted with meeting uh, your end, why is it so many people without belief seek God? <laughs> uh, do you have some statistics on how many people see God who didn't already believe in him? I've seen a lot of people on their deathbed start talking about God as they're Sure. Getting ready well, they're to go. freaking terrified, sir. <laughs> I mean, terror is. We talked about this earlier. I don't know if you've been watching the show all uh, all evening, but um, you know, their fear is a great motivator to force people to start adopting beliefs that normally they wouldn't. This is why um, Christians are continually asking us, you know, what if you're wrong? That is an, a direct attempt to scare us with the threat of hell, which they also can't prove, into going ahead and signing up for the religion. When somebody's on their deathbed, it is really no surprise for them to, to you know, be out of sheer terror to go ahead and adopt the belief. That does not mean they've got the slightest bit of evidence to support it. I, it's understandable, but sad. I think, I th yeah. Brilliant response there from Jeff D, because they're freaking terrified. <laughs> I'm surprised, really, that uh, people have got to ask this question. And it, it would not shock me at all to learn that there are atheists who, you know, in their final years or on their deathbed, suddenly turn, you know, suddenly turn to God, because death is a big thing. It's a, it's a big unknown. Nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen. I think... Um, all the evidence points to nothing happening at all. You just die and go out of existence. There's there's no evidence to suggest that anything else happens. And an eternal sleep with no dreams is not, um, you know, is not really a very attractive prospect for most people. So uh, people tend to want to go on. Of course, they're terrified. Uh, obviously, most I would think most atheists just do not um do not have deathbed conversions i don't know where he's got his evidence from or it seems to me it's just some anecdotal evidence but um uh, i do sincerely hope that i maintain my atheism all the way to my last <laughs> last and dying breath and that i don't go the same way as some who became who 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 become scared i mean i personally know somebody who um got cancer at 45 and yeah he'd been an atheist and to be honest with you um he also converted uh he, he went to a benedictine monastery where they looked after him until his dying day so it does happen but it doesn't make it doesn't make the beliefs true it's just as jeff d said it's just through sheer terror and in fact it's one of the big may maybe even the biggest selling point of christianity and many religions that um, promote this prospect of an afterlife, it may well be the biggest selling point, and that without it, religions like Christianity just would not have got off the ground. So, yeah, people people do convert on their deathbeds, but um, it's irrational. There's still no evidence for God, and it's just, as Jeff D said, it's just out of sheer terror. Well, okay, so I'll fast forward to the conversation because uh, the the guy asked quite an interesting question. Uh, but here we go. Let's have a listen to it. What if you, have you ever considered that you could be wrong? Dude, sure. we just talked about this. About 10 to okay. what do you, let, are, let, me, let me ask you, just before we answer this, are you a believer? Yes. Okay. What do you say is going to happen to us if we're wrong? Oh, I think that uh, you'll be blessed because of your ignorance and uh, lack of... Uh, of direction. That's what well, I. Think. So I guess if we're wrong, we'll be blessed. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thank you. No, I just. <laughs> yeah, um, I stopped the conversation there because you know um, I made the judgment that it wouldn't be interesting to listen to the rest of it on this video because it sort of becomes a little bit disfocused. The caller accuses Jeff D of being condescending, etc. And um, so that's it, really. And I've I know Christians who've said to me, you know, Stuart, you're you're an atheist, and I've said, "Yeah." I said, "What's going to 
in your view, what's going to happen to me when I die? And they've said, actually, that uh, God loves all his creations. And, um, you know, because of your ignorance and because of your sort of lack of belief, um, you won't be sitting on quite the same level as the rest of us, but neither will you be going and burning in hell. Um, a lot of Christians actually don't accept that. And this guy says you'll be blessed because of your ignorance. And um, as Jeff D said, well, in that case, the worst thing that's going to happen is that we'll be blessed. We've got nothing, <laughs> we've got nothing to worry about. So um, that's it, really. Uh, I, thought it was, uh, I thought it was worth putting that together. Uh, good form. Jeff D is in good form in this one. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching.